this is a really interesting topic and if you're male I'd like you to stick around and tell me if this has resonance I believe it's my own personal statistic and I've been talking to, to men and asking this question but are you able to think about nothing yeah apparently it blows my mind working alongside men in um, a facility and we're all sitting at this t table where we have to like communally dine and the men are sitting there and they're eating and they seem like they're really in the zone and I'll say what are you thinking about right now and they'll go nothing and I'm like like for real nothing because women would love to think of nothing and I was started to analyze this and go okay we're taught meditation, we're taught to sit still, we're taught to turn our thoughts off, we're taught, we're, we're, we're taught to do these things, but it takes a lot of effort, I think, with a female mind to be able to do that, to truly turn everything off, where men get to naturally be in this state. And I thought, isn't that interesting? It's like exactly what used to annoy me 13 years in a relationship when I was really young till... Um, close to 30 was like, I would, I would be like, what are you thinking about? Nothing. And I'd be like, it's impossible. And it would start this huge argument with like, what do you mean nothing? Or I would share a, a, a theory of some kind or whatever. And well, what do you think about that? Well, I don't know. It's like, wow, what do you mean? Um, but what's so interesting is it's a gift. The more that I analyze this, it's like we need the yin to the yang. The more I'm learning about energy, we have a masculine and a feminine side. Let's dive into this because I think that this is kind of where we've all been manipulated to internally tear ourselves apart. It's like in my experience at all my years in childcare, the boys were always the most sensitive. The boys always wanted to be held a little bit longer. The boys always wanted to cry a little bit more than the girls did. Um, right from a very, very young age, almost almost infancy, the boys were more sensitive. I, in my opinion, they just were. And it was like society by five years old tells them to turn that off, to suck it up, to be tough. And you watch this shift from a little boy who's just in the moment not really thinking about anything and then and then having something happen and and they're not allowed necessarily society doesn't give them permission to express it in any feminine way which is just a release of emotion or needing nurturing needing a hug instead they're taught to be to be tough and so it turns into anger because anger is just a secondary emotion to all of the actual emotions you can't release uh-huh so then it turns into anger because now they're feeling all of these different things but they're not allowed to re release them in a way that feels natural because society said that that's a wimp or all kinds of other things. And I almost wonder if that led to pushing more and more men into feeling like they had to be gay in order to honor their feminine side. It's interesting. No idea. There's no facts behind this. This is just from my heart theories. <laughs> because when you look at what they, what they identify as the male and female aspects of our spirit, we're all born with that. And if you think about the feminine side, that we're, we're absolutely honored in being nurturing and it's okay for us to cry as a female. And we overthink and we do all of these things and that's, and that's almost okay. But then a woman who's too tough or too this or too whatever is a butch or whatever, right? See how it left us no room <clears throat> to have that balance, to be each side in totality. And I think this is where we're all waking up to. We're all coming to this because they say the male side is just simply like your strength, 
your action, logic and rational thought, doing and achieving. Well, we all have this desire, but it shouldn't just be the masculine side that predominantly um, focuses on this, right? Then let's look at uh, the feminine side. The feminine side, they say, is your intuition, the nurturing, creative side, emotional ability, the ability to receive and allow. Do you notice how all of those aspects truly are not necessarily honored for the man? If a man is... And so it's changing and I'm so, so, so thankful. But do you notice how it's a little bit more difficult for a, a man to say that uh, he's going to start spending his days sewing, for example, and creating dresses? He may not want to wear the dresses, but maybe he really just loves creating and it has a knack for seeing the beauty in feminine attire. And that's, and that he, and I'm sure there are creators out there like that. Um, but that doesn't mean that it needs to slide all the way over into the category of being labeled something. Like that's just that masculine side tapping into the feminine or that feminine side being, you know, they call this now the strong independent women. Um, yeah. <laughs> The strong, independent women who take those actions and have the strength and are doing and in and, and, and society, isn't it incredible how women were expected to have both roles, but men weren't allowed to touch the nurturing feminine sides. Uh, wow. We're, what a way to, to make us all feel imbalanced by creating these kind of standards and different aspects that, that shift our our holistic well-being. You know, it's so interesting. In one of my first Reiki sessions, before I even understood what energy healing was, I lay down and she comes and she places her hands over me. She says, your masculine side is way too strong. <laughs> and you know what? She was right. Because I was so into being a strong, independent woman that I was literally not tapping into um, more of my nurturing side, being more creative, doing things like this. Like I fell very far into the being productive, being active, sleep when you're dead, work hard. Like I let go of so many of the other aspects of, of myself that would allow me to have um, total well-being and balance, right? So I've been working on all of those aspects which I think is is coming up for all of us now. Being like, you know, allowing someone, because if you are a strong independent woman, then there is that aspect of like allowing someone to nurture you or to take care of you. You know, there's so, it's so often like when I was digging deep at the um, givers need to set limits because takers never do. Well, if you're a giver, if you're a doer, if you are all of those things, but you've neglected your feminine side, then good and well to think that everybody is taking, but you're giving. And if you don't learn to receive and to accept the beauty in being nurtured yourself, then how, how are we able to really embrace that balance? Does that make sense? Does this resonate? Subscribe, leave a comment or a question. I'm so curious um, on if men truly feel uh, like they have a nothing box, like you truly can be thinking about nothing. And when you, when you look at that, how they're able to, which would be the prime place to be when you understand where meditation comes from, if you can get into that nothing box, if you can truly let nothing be influencing you in that moment and then take it to the next level where you tap into your feminine, that intuition, the divine connection, can you imagine, can you imagine if we came together and we didn't bump heads, but rather like synchronize 
our ability, like if women were able to have, if, if a woman and a man were minds were on the same page and you come together to plant the seed into the man's nothing but and allow their intuition, your intuition. And what magic could we create if we were truly on the same page with the ability to work together? What would that look like? I just see magic happening. I just, I just see it being so divine. It's so interesting. Yeah, please give me some feedback. Let's talk about this. Um, the male female aspects of our nature, our spirits. Do you feel you're a little bit more on the masculine or the feminine side as a man? If you're following this and uh, listening to this, do you feel like you're being, um, expected to, to turn off all of your feminine components? Like you're not allowed to just cry and you're not allowed to be intuitive and creative and truly honor those aspects of yourself. Curiouser and curiouser. Really love these kind of deep thoughts. Let me know what you think. Much love and light as we all rise and shine into our absolute best life from the inside out. Much love.